come back in the kitchen. Um, well, I've never left the kitchen. I've been cooking every day, but just haven't been sharing everything with you guys. But today, the guys wanted pasta for dinner. And we kind of wanted to do, I, I kind of wanted to do make that also our meatless night. It's not going to be quite meatless. I'll tell you why in a minute. But um, the reason I'm coming in tonight, though, is because, I don't know if y'all remember, I said that we were going to be doing a recipe challenge where my guys, Albert or Avery, could tell me uh, about a dish that they had someplace at a restaurant or something that they saw online that they want, they want to try and they want me to make it. So, tonight I am going to satisfy Avery's second dish for this challenge. I don't even know what to call this, y'all. Um, it's like a bacon-wrapped spaghetti casserole type of thing. I'm going to make it. And I honestly think that this might be one of the easiest dinners <laughs> ever <laughs> because it's very, very simple. The guy on TikTok, he made it look hard with all these extra steps, just like the last one. Last time I did, um, I did the buffalo mac and cheese. You know what? I think I'm going to go back and do that again and actually show you the original dish and show y'all how over the top people do all the things. Like, the only thing I do over the top is my sauces because I like to make them myself. So I have my um, my pasta sauce, spaghetti sauce over here simmering, and that'll take a while. But other than that, this dish shouldn't take that long. It should be very easy to build. Um, and this time I'm going to remember, if I can figure it out, how to show you the original dish, how the, the original guy made it. And, of course, give some commentary on that. I think that's going to be fun. Yeah, so I'm going to do that this time. I'm winging it, y'all. I'm winging it. So stay tuned for the hyperlapse, you guys. Um, that's coming up in just a bit. <laughs> Have some fun with it. But first, this is the original video that Avery sent me. First of all, that bacon is definitely not going to cook all the way through. Secondly, how is the pasta going to get cooked all the way through with that bacon wrap so tight around it? I don't know about that one. The last thing is he feels the need to use two separate pots. Like after he does this, he puts it in a regular pan to put the cheese on top and stick it in the oven. Why not just use the same pan? Because it's probably oven safe anyway. Who wants to do all those dishes? Not me, and I'm not going to. Now here's my version. All right, so here's what this thing looks like. The edges look a little crispy, but they are not. Oh, ooey gooey cheesy. And that's what it looks like. This was fun, but I would definitely not do it the same way again. First of all, that bacon definitely can't cook through without the spaghetti being charred on the ends. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It kind of just gives it a smoky, nutty flavor. But then the other thing is that that spaghetti doesn't cook all the way through in the section where the bacon is wrapped around it. What I would do instead is just make this carbonara style, but instead of it having a white sauce, it just would have a red sauce with cheese on top instead of the cheese being incorporated with eggs. That to me would be the simpler way to do it. So let me know in the comments if you would try something like this. And as always, thank you for tuning in. Bye.